Here are some things that can help you figure out the age, rarity, and condition of your SVT40. First off, we have the groove cut into the side of the receiver here. And that was used on the earlier models as a scope mount for the sniper variants. And on the later models, it was then removed. Secondly, the trigger guard will have a thinner band on the earlier models, and they went to a wider band on the later models. And on top of it, the safety on the early models will have a hole cut in, whereas the later models will not. Thirdly, for the earlier models, they'll have a groove cut into the sight, whereas the later models will just have a flush center. Fourthly, the earlier models will have a swing swivel on the bottom of the buttstock and on the forend, whereas the later models will have a fixed swing sling attachment and the buttstock will have a hole into the um, buttstock just like a Mosin Nagant. Fifthly, the most important thing to look for is the six port muzzle brake versus the four port, which is chunks like this. The six port is much more desirable than the four port, four port and works way better. And lastly, the shroud, it'll have eight holes on the early models and seven holes on the later models. Anyways, I hope that helped you with your SVT40. Um, they're a fantastic rifle. I hope you enjoy yours just as much as I enjoy mine. Thanks for watching.